so now what topics what is the importance of devops okay now let's see team what is the importance of okay devops team next one now why why market most most of the projects not most all the projects all the projects now implementing devops okay now what are the technologies should use to implement the devops what are the technologies we should use to implement the devops what are all the technologies we should use to implement the devops what are all the tools we should use to implement the devops so this demo agenda is this one team at the end of the demo at the end of the demo you should feel like okay i should learn this devops and the importance of devops you know now you should be able to complete awareness of this okay, devops team next one team okay next one team let's see team so now please try to understand team so what are the prerequisiting to start this okay devops team i would say nothing prerequisiting or required basic knowledge on on computer steam basic knowledge on computers okay like what is operating system like you know what is the uh, you know computer hardware components and so on who are eligible team who are okay, eligible to take this course team number one one is it employees so who are looking for a who are looking ext Okay, extend their skills skills from current role to new role <clears throat> number two it would be good any developer having devops knowledge will be value add the team and organization organization means client non it means team who has gap who want switch switch from current current employment to it b b who has experience gap gap and looking for it job okay everyone is okay, responsible okay, everyone is okay, eligible for to take this course team okay now prerequisiting is this one team let's see team now before we going to start team first let me okay, explain team first let me okay, explain team in your real time what happened team now please try to understand 
for every project team in your real time team they will follow the sdlc sdlc stands for software development life cycle sdlc stands for software development life cycle this sdlc can be split into two ways one is waterfall model other one is zeil methodologies <laughs> one is waterfall model other one is agile methodologies so you know please try to understand team one is waterfall model other one is agile methodologies team another one is agile methodologies team now if you see try to understand team here see if you understand this okay, different team okay, difference then now we'll go for devops you can understand okay, easily team i don't want to go too much team see for every project team in your real time you should have analysis then you should go for design then you should go for build or coding then you should go for testing then you should go for production deployment please try to understand team this waterfall methodologies this agile methodologies waterfall model is traditional traditional approach agile is modern approach what is traditional approach i will explain to you now what is now here waterfall team please try to understand here it is a sequential approach what is sequential approach also i will explain to you here it is a iterative approach next one team sequential means what first analysis will be started next design should be started next build should be started next to testing should be started next to production deployment should be started analysis design build testing and production will be there understand team now if you see it here now let's see team so the project will be started the project will be started on on assume that jan and anal analysis it will take one month time design it will take two weeks time build it will take two months time testing it will take two weeks time 
So if you deploy overall right, it will take till May or June. That means 30 June 2024. So now here what will be happen? So here, here timelines are fixed. So whole project will be delivered. Whole product or project. will be delivered on 30th June 2024 means after six months there is no guarantee there is no guarantee on ROI ROI means return on investment After six months, there is no guarantee on ROI. ROI stands for return on okay, investment team. Because your product may be success, may not be success team. That is the reason team. What this modern approach will do? Hey, we don't want to deploy whole product into six months. We need iterative approach. Iterative one. Iterative two. Iterative two. Iterative is also called sprints. We will talk more on agile days. Agile topic here. Just I would like to give overview. Sprint one. Sprint two. And so on. Sprint n. What these guys will do? What okay, these guys will do? Hey, don't wait for six months. Convert. Convert. No whole whole product okay requirements into requirements into some phases. Now oh, here what? Every two weeks. Every two weeks. No. Okay, every two weeks build and deploy okay, deploy into production every two weeks build and okay, deploy into production team every two weeks build and deploy the changes into production team that means what so every month means okay, six months right six into two jar 12 times changes will be deployed into production small example here you have a bank application this bank application you are going into implement login after login checking for balance after checking transfer the payments so these many features are there if it is agile so waterfall model hey deliver whole features at once agile is not like that what agile is saying that don't wait if login feature is done deploy into login into production and uh, okay, in, okay and okay, inform to customers so if balance feature is done don't wait will inform to customers okay move this balance features saying customer you can see only for you can see only for balance information only you cannot do any okay, transfer okay once okay transfer is done see now what in agile the return of investment is parallelly will come return of investment is parallelly will come every two weeks he'll deploy the application into production customers are logging business team is getting feedback from the customers if customers are happy or uh, you know or our ROI will come our product okay, development will continue okay, rest of the days otherwise the product okay, development will be stop okay here customers means client client will get 
revenue roi roi stands for return of in okay, investment parallelly so that's why using agile we can deliver the product early into the market using agile process using agile deliver the product deliver the product early into the market now actual game will start now deliver the product early into market team now let's see team so what happened team if this no just i would like to see if it is agile every two weeks the summary is in waterfall model in waterfall model so a, the the production deployment the production of a deployment will be will be will be like quarterly will be like quarterly means every th three months or half yearly or half yearly means okay, every six months or yearly it would be their team so what is this waterfall model means before devops team before devops okay, traditional approach this okay, traditional approach no okay, devops was there before devops people are using waterfall model team what is the use of this okay, okay, waterfall model let's see you should only tell at the at the end okay what are the tools we are using team so i have a different uh, okay, dev team team so so many okay, developers are there here developer one developer two developer three team now please try to understand developer one developer two developer three every developer is doing okay development into their local system team every developer will do ch changes into their local system team so they are doing some changes they are okay, testing the okay, application if all are okay if all are okay working fine team if all are okay working fine what this okay these okay developers will do see all assume that developer one is doing one module changes developer is two is doing one module changes developer three is doing one module changes so all developers once their okay, development has been done they should merge all this developer code changes into github changes into github team now please try to understand okay important it is if it is waterfall model how it works here means is a source code okay, repository github source code repository means all developers code will be merge merge the all the developers code so we are good merge the all the developers code here done Hope you are good team till now here now please try to understand the very important stuff team oh let's see team so after merging all team we need to deploy our application right we need to deploy our application right team in your real time to deploy our application we have yes, some environments the dev environments what is your environments it is kind of one simple one laptop one empty laptop or one remote system okay environment is a one laptop team i have a test environment and i have a production environment team please try to understand please try to understand very 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 important so here only you will see what is the importance of this okay, devops team so before devops Okay, everyone will be using waterfall model so when developers are commit or push their changes into github now where is our latest source code latest source code is available inside of our github from github development team see we need to deploy our application into okay, dev environment need to deploy our application into okay, dev environment 
if the see every need to deploy our application into a dev environment team done okay deployment is done please try to understand to deploy application into dev environment what i should use hey to run our application what are all these softwares are required in this uh, computer i need os is required in this computer i i need either windows or os is okay required i need jdk is okay required i need some tomcat is required i need some database is required once you have the tomcat maybe housing connection pooling is okay required i need some data source okay details is required so to set up one simple system team i need some database is required so many team you know to set up one simple system before devops days it is like a dev environment now here once all this one deploy your application into where this like a dev environment please try to understand to set up this one simple system team minimum you should take 2 hours 2 to 3 hours time team 2 to 3 hours time okay if it is a test environment same style to set up this okay, test environment how much time it is okay required same here this environment will be used by only okay, testing team here same time test environment now done but if it is a production hey for dev environment only developers will use this system team how many max developers a team two two three people or five if it is qe okay testing environment how many max team okay two two three okay testing team assume that here five members will be there if it is qe team okay every project how many testing team will be there two members will be there team but if it is in production right live right live means so much of traffic so many users are accessing this this you know production environment team single system will not will not able to process all the all the request to team single system that's why in your real time production you will have so many so many systems team just how many least case assume that five five servers are up and running in production to deploy one single application why every day i assume that one lakh okay request will come this one lakh request can able to process by a single system team no this one lakh will not be able to process by this single system team that is the reason to process huge traffic to process more number of request into production we will set up how many systems team so minimum based on our project okay requirement how many systems are required maybe systems are one systems are two systems are three systems are four systems are maybe okay depends team how many are okay required all this one will be used to team can imagine team so what you should do first you need to set up after all one simple dev environment it will take simple dev environment it will take two to three hours in production we need five systems team five servers or systems how much time it will require team five threes are 15 hours that means to deploy our application into production if it is a major application before devops team before devops to deploy our application to to deploy our application into production it will take 15 hours that means one or two days team it will take 15 hours or in the bracket one or two days one or two days okay it will take to deploy the changes to deploy the changes team to deploy the changes into production that's fine earlier why traditional approach 
the okay, deployment will be only for quarterly half yearly okay only for quarterly half yearly yearly it will be there that's fine team but if it is agile what is agile every two weeks okay every week okay every three weeks you need to develop and deploy the application into production so every two weeks okay every two weeks team for small features also for build and deploy deployment you are taking two days time means it is bad experience team so it will take more time so okay, every two weeks you are taking for one or two days for a okay, deployment means then it is okay, impacting for your deliverable team so two weeks you are developing one day you are spending for only okay, deployment that is for every month three or four days only you are spending for a okay, deploy your application into production it's a bad team so in agile methodologies in using waterfall model team now here production deployment right see here it's fine so it <coughs> it will take will it will take the set up the okay, infrastructure it will take it will take one or two days time to set up the infrastructure infrastructure means what create the create the servers and apply the okay, networking and so on set up the infrastructure okay installed all the softwares install all the softwares into into servers then and deploy the application i would say now in agile in agile model so every two weeks every two weeks every two weeks in production deployment will be there every two weeks build some features build some features or requirements requirements and then and then deploy the application into production and then deploy the application deploy the application into production and then deploy the application into production team hey if you are following in this approach team if you are following this current approach team see let's see see now here do you want so do you need wait eight for one or two days two days two days for production deployment two days for production deployment in every two weeks no no what our clients are like expecting clients are like expecting means hey clients are like expecting so build and deploy deploy the application into production in 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 minutes or seconds build and okay, deploy the application into production in minutes or seconds team in minutes or seconds team so that can be only possible using a okay, devops team using devops how it is possible now we'll see what this okay, devops will do team devops what this okay, devops will do devops is an okay devops using devops how it is now i will explain to you using devops using okay devops team we can we can deliver the software products using devops we can deliver the software products quickly into the market with high quality with high quality team using devops we can deliver the software products quickly into the market team quickly into the market team 
what is mean by a devops team devops stands for development and operations how this in our real time team in our real time if you understand this team so if you see this in our real time so for every project you have for every project you have here we have a development team we have a different teams are available development team here we have a operations team a QE team a testing team here we have a operations team team operations team now here now please try to understand what this development team will do according to the client requirement developer will develop the application according to the client requirement development team will develop the application okay now based on this application of requirement team based on this application of requirement team operations team operations team based on application of requirement operations team means a devops team will set up the infrastructure based on the requirement this operations team will will set up the infrastructure team so what is mean by set up the infrastructure means they should they should create all the vms vms stands for virtual machines they should install all the softwares all the softwares enable the security enable the security so so much of stuff is there these guys will do team these concepts in, they will do it in where in all the environments dev environment test environment and uat and production all team now see what is this okay devops job is team devops job is hey how optimize this process devops job is how optimize this process team how optimize this process team now let's assume that team so i have this this okay, systems team i have these systems where you should create this systems team please try to understand so there are two types of the two types of the okay, infrastructure team there are two types of the okay, infrastructure team there are two types of infrastructure team one is on prime one is on prime other one is cloud other one is cloud team now please try to understand one is on prime other one is cloud on prime means what we need to we need to create all the we need to set up we need to set up all the below things if it is on prime on prime means team you should take a one big room and uh, and set up and uh, and so go to market bring all the desktops or laptops okay and create create all the all the systems all the vms or vms you should go into the our it is it is okay our responsibility this vms means okay virtual machines assume that as of now vms means one systems create all the vms means in the bracket of okay, systems are server so vms always should be up and running means your application should be up and running it is okay our responsible third one is power 24 by 7 power it is okay, our responsible team so if you go for this on prime your application availability application security application you should take care availability security maintainability and all team that is the reason now here earlier before cloud was there okay, everyone is looking for most of the big big client of city bank and american express and all these banks 
they have their own on prime centers team they took some uh, okay 10 acres they will created some thousand uh, vms and they will set up the network infrastructure okay everything they will do team so always um, power supply security maintainability performance everything we should take care of team means so to set up all this stuff what happened team you have a lot of manpower lot of manpower is required plus lot of cost will be happened plus manual work is there so these many drawbacks with on prime team that's why now everyone is looking for cloud team if it is cloud you, you don't need to worry about if it is cloud you don't need to worry about all the stuff team what this cloud will do hey dev team you focus only on application development cloud says no cloud says team so cloud says development team only focus on application development application de development okay leave leave okay, infrastructure infrastructure and their characteristics leave infrastructures and their characteristics to whom to infrastructures under their characteristics to whom cloud they will take care that means you don't need to worry about all these steps all will be taken care by whom all will be taken care by whom your cloud guys your cloud guys will take care everything team now what this okay devops is required right you need some platform is required you need some platform is required to provide the this okay servers and all the platform may be aws platform may be azure platform may be gcps platform may be anything team you need some, some platform is required who will provide the this servers who will provide these uh, you know systems who will provide the virtual machines team we need some platforms are okay required team so here we are using the platform is aws hey you know to to run your amazon.com application i need 2000 servers are okay required team to run amazon.com this to launch this amazon.com home page your amazon application is up and running minimum 2000 servers team do i need to okay, okay, install this 2000 servers manually it will take so much of time team so it will take so much of time to create the 2000 servers or vms manually team that's why you have the see what are our, what are all the devops technologies team you know so there is a okay, infrastructure no first one okay infrastructure automation A, you should use cloud formation templates cft market using cloud formation technologies no sir this cloud formation technologies means to set up the infrastructure to provision to provision means how many systems you want to provision the infrastructure but this cft is only specific to aws so what you will do you need to configure write one simple configuration file and run in aws then how many systems you want you want 2000 vms it will create 2000 vms automatically but this limitation is it will work in only aws arm arm stands for azure in azure resource manager hey you want to give this one here to provision the infrastructure how many systems you want 
how their security how their everything but it will support for azure only sir tomorrow i want to switch from one cloud to another cloud assume that i want to switch from aws to azure do i need to write again scripts from cft to arm no that's why market has been introduced a terraform it is the it is also used for to provision the infrastructure only but it is cloud native it is cloud native means irrespective of the cloud hey you may go for aws you may go for azure you may go for irrespective of use in terraform okay, that's it run this okay, terraform scripts how many okay, instances you want how many vms you want this terraform has the okay, responsibility set up how many vms you want it will create the automatically even if you want 100 vms also even even if you want 100 vms also fraction of seconds fraction of seconds means some max some 5 to 10 minutes time it will 100 100 systems also it will create the automatically now oh, it will take for what vm1 vm2 vm3 and so on vm 100 team see vm1 how many vms you want vm1 vm2 earlier before devops it will take a minimum minimum two three days time or okay, one week time okay, it will take team now no need team now fraction of seconds write okay, terraforms only once write okay, terraforms only of once team okay infrastructure as a code means if you write the code terraform script writing code means here okay, terraform okay, scripts here that will take care automatically team and so on 100 vms so fraction of seconds it will take it team that's why you should use market one is you should use for the cloud platform team either you should use for the cloud platform is, is now we are using cloud platform is okay, aws on aws how to create all the infrastructure and in setup automatically we should use in terraforms define this terraforms how many systems are required how many resources are required you need database is required you need some systems are required how their connection is required everything you should be a required team here now please try to understand in in aws team we will minimum 10 plus services will be a discuss team what are all the 10 plus that will discuss in our upcoming session team now okay boss we are good what is good my infrastructure is ready but hey who will create the all the softwares into each and every mission do i want to create each and every mission manually login into vm install the java install the tomcat install the database install do i need to do if 100 vms are there it will take how much time it will take each vm is taking two hours 100 into two hours 200 200 hours it will take 200 hours means almost you know almost a year it will close okay 10 months it will take see i want this entire setup okay fraction of that's why there is a concept is called configuration management system okay configuration management tool the configuration management tool is called we have a ansible we have a puppet so many tools are there team now market will be using most of them using ansible what is ansible how the ansible will work all we will discuss in our upcoming session this is not okay right time it is only for a demo team in depth syllabus i will explain team this ansible will take care hey connecting automatically into all the remote missions you know Okay, install all the required softwares into fraction of seconds team understood now using this what happened using this okay, infrastructure we are able to do cloud platform it is able to do configuration it is able to do okay, everything is been done now hey what this will do your development team is doing every developer is doing this changes agreed boss now once this okay, development is okay, happening team 
so now here now here what will be happened hey you can easily deploy your application into your server see earlier it will take days time hours time team now this entire setup will be happening max to max 10 minutes time team 10 minutes time to set up the uh, irrespective of number of the vm uh, you know how many systems are required to run to run your ansible run your 10 minutes time to install all the softwares now your infrastructure is ready once infrastructure is ready team once infrastructure is ready now till now what happened team your cloud platform is there your infrastructure is there your configuration is there now how the deployment how the okay, deployment to do the okay, deployment team now here see how the build and okay, deployment this build and okay, deployment will be fraction of a okay, second team build and okay, deployment will be fraction of a okay, second team now you need tools are called maven hey how to use these tools are called maven here please try to understand how these tools are called maven tools are called git tools are called sonar cube j unit okay unit testing is okay required team tools are called sonar cube here is okay now here tools are called jenkins how this build and okay deployment it will be happening so you have to focus on this once you will look at deploy grafana monitor your application promotes is okay promote is okay grafana promotes and e elk these many tools are okay, required team so very very okay, important stuff so these are the tools of these are the tools of build and look at deployment how these tools will work we look at discuss will be okay, practical team we look at discuss will be practical team so here tools right you now grafana and promothesis okay promothesis okay grafana is enough or elk or data dog all stuff team okay now what is the use of this tools is to build the application this tool and give this after building team after building team now after building team deploy this give this to jenkins okay, deploy your application into here jenkins team jenkins will take care jenkins will take care auto build and deploy auto build and deploy to enable auto build and deployment you need these many tools are okay, required team to enable auto build and okay, deployment these many okay, tools are okay, required team these many okay, tools are okay, required team here now please okay, try to okay, understand team these many tools are okay, required team now every application will have a team so okay, without containerization team there is no without containerization using docker what is containerization i will explain later team so containerization orchestration what is orchestration i will explain later team containerization orchestration team orchestrate using kubernetes team using kubernetes so entire okay, devops right we are trying to use containerization we are trying to use you know kubernetes what is this kubernetes docker i will explain team without this th there is no project okay development team without this there is no project okay development team here another one is a nexus or jfrog team so what we'll do devops engineer okay, responsibility is now here set up this okay, infrastructure how to write the scripts for terraforms see i have a okay, hands-on on cft hands-on on arm hands-on on terraforms team we will write in depth how to write terraforms will write in-depth hansible scripts okay which will take care to connecting into all the systems and okay, deploy you know okay, install and configure all the software's team after that we'll set up team okay, everything now till now we are good team okay, next one see see most of the most of the this servers are running on 
లైనెక్స్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ టీమ్ హే యూ షుడ్ బి స్ట్రాంగ్ 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 నాలెడ్జ్ ఆన్ లైన్ ఎక్స్ వై ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ విండోస్ రైట్ యూ విల్ గో హియర్ విండోస్ యూ విల్ బి క్లిక్ దిస్ యూ విల్ క్లిక్ దిస్ యూ విల్ క్లిక్ దిస్ యూ విల్ క్లిక్ దిస్ ఓకే బట్ హౌ దిస్ విఎమ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది విఎమ్స్ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ ఆన్ లైన్ ఎక్స్ వైఎస్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ పర్ఫార్మ్ ఎనీ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఆన్ దిస్ విఎమ్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ పర్ఫార్మ్ ఎనీ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఆన్ దిస్ విఎమ్స్ యూ షుడ్ బి స్ట్రాంగ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆన్ లైన్ ఎక్స్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్స్ in this linux operating systems you, you should be strong on file management you should be strong on process management commands so many commands is there it is not a gui it is a cui user management memory management so many is their team even though if you don't know anything about linux that will take your team how to work with this linux how to explain all will be explained practically team hey you should have strong knowledge on linux and shell script team what is the use of a shell script team hey boss i cannot do this i cannot do this and run all this commands manually you have so many file management commands process management commands user how to automate this linux commands automate the linux operations so that like instead of you will run all this stuff this shell script will take care automate all this top team okay so shell script will take care automate all this top team all this top team okay so we are trying to discuss all this top team okay next one team see hey now here is good but if you see this my diagram see how this one vm can connect to another vm so how the data will be transferred sometimes what happen team we may require to connect from one system to another system right team you should be strong knowledge on networking team hey we have learned right our uh, okay os models os models team so physical layer we have seven layers in our academic os models how the okay, networking okay devices how the okay, networking types okay networking models team you may think all are easy but to understand okay aws to understand again anything networking is the mandatory team now how the ip address okay, internally will work ip address work okay, internals how the ip address okay, internal works what is the dns dns now here domain naming services okay how the ip address and you click on this uh, amazon.com how the ip address will be generated what is ip address what is ip address how many types of okay, ip addresses and there okay internals team and okay internals and its internals everything will see practically team so the summary is you should be strong knowledge on linux networking docker kubernetes these many tools are okay, required team to build and okay, deploy your applications team these many tools are okay, required to him to be build and okay, deploy the okay, application team so here using this okay you, you need to okay, install all the software sansible or puppet is required set up the okay, infrastructure this is okay, required cloud so in this okay aws team around okay, 10 services we will be okay, using team what are the okay, 10 services we will be using team i will not okay, explain more on this now i will give only names team we are going to discuss okay ec2 we are going to discuss okay ebs we are going to discuss here okay s3 okay lbr load balancer we are okay, discussing for storage we are using okay s3 for database we are using rds rds now for iam iam team for identity access uh, management we are using iam and then we are going to use uh, route 53 for domain mapping team okay now we are trying to use okay we are trying to use vpc virtual private cloud team and lambdas team okay serverless okay, lambdas lambdas okay, serverless how it works team 
lambda so serverless so how it is works team no ecr i will explain all in later team just i am giving here so many still we can see just i am giving team here okay now here see so this is entire devops team what technologies we are going to use how each and of technologies will be helpful at the end team we are trying to use end to end real time project end to end real time project on a devops a how to use static static application static web application static web application okay deployment on dynamic web application dynamic web application okay deployment and using how they could distributed applications the distributed applications team using microservice architecture distributed application using microservice architecture team all the stuff we are going into see practically team each and every topic we are providing some okay faqs team each topic each topic okay each each topic okay faqs and interviews and interviews each each topic okay faqs also will be provided team will be helpful for the okay, interview team this is what how the aws uh, you know devops with okay, aws see even though if you are switch for azure from 2 to from 2 to all the steps are same 10 only if it is azure what will change team Azure means what? Only this Azure, Azure equivalent uh, services will be there. Either you will go for AWS or you will go for Azure or you will go for on-prem. If it is on-prem, what? You will set up your own platform. So, some platform is required to, to create our mission, to install the software, to build and to deploy the tools, to enable the Docker, to run our application some platform is required if it is no cloud is there happy look no problem you can go for okay, your own setup that is called okay, on prime okay on prime server you can create your own system you can create your own storage you can create your own database you can create your own do it understood so people are Calling DevOps with okay, AWS, DevOps with Azure, DevOps with GCP means what? The basic underlying structure is same. Only you are using cloud. Use these okay, technologies on AWS cloud. Use these okay, technologies Azure cloud. Use these okay, technologies GCP cloud. That's it. Or on prime also you can do who is stopping. But the summary is team. The summary on a tech stack developer high level summary should be strong on Linux OS, comma, tell script should be strong on high level, strong, strong on computer networks. You might be studied in our MCA or BTEC. Uh, the author name is. Tenenbaum, author Bame is Tenenbaum is the famous for networks. We used to neglect at the time, but now it is very, very important. Now okay, you should be strong on how the any one of the cloud platform. Here we are using cloud platform is AWS. You should be strong on configuration management software CFG tool, configuration management tool CFG configuration management tool okay so ansible before that how to set up the infrastructure you should be strong on infrastructure setup infrastructure use call it terraform should be strong on how to install the configuration summary team you should be strong on once these are all done you should be strong on so containerization docker you should be strong on orchestration containers orchestration 
what this is here kubernetes you should be strong on some devops tool auto build and deploy this is called cicd this is called cicd now here we have a list of okay softwares are okay, required on this cicd so all this stuff is a okay, required team here any some questions team please ask any questions team please ask any some questions team please ask uh, uh, hi sir good morning please ask me uh, sir uh, in aws uh, how many services you will cover minimum 10 sir i have given here 10 names right ec2 yeah. ebs lbr s3 rds iam road 53 vpc lambda ccr uh, so with this uh, 10 services uh, uh, with this knowledge can we do any certification in aws certification is different sir that is aws and complete course is different certification wise different here only this this knowledge is helpful for how to enable how to implement it to devops but not for certification sir oh, okay any basic certification also we can't do basic we can do but not like architecture level and all you cannot do okay at least practitioner we can yeah yeah practitioner we can do for sure okay okay and uh, like uh, this uh, linux and cell scripting you are talking about right yeah uh, with that knowledge uh, can we work on our uh, production support work yes 100 percent sir okay we'll teach in that. depth on linux os and cell script okay uh, this how how this linux os and linux admin uh, is different or same sir linux os means a developer will do administrators means uh, most of them uh, working on uh, uh, okay permissions like uh, you know admin guy has root access normal developers okay, does not have root access normal developers only have read and write access admin has okay, everything so admin will take care to provide the required permissions to whom and uh, you know the root level access he has so he can manage system okay, everything developer is only can do only his uh, his uh, his role read and write access only sometimes a developer will have only read and read access also a, a administrator will have uh, any some uh, remove or uh, anything he can have some root level access of your linux os sir so what are all the linux admin will do i will explain in our regular classes sir uh, okay so in, in our day to day work in production work like uh, these developers are they are working on uh, they work as a, a developer or admin sir sir here most of them admins are only one or two sir in our organization admins does not have more but these developers are maybe 10 20 100 something devops admin guy they won't give admin access to everyone they will give only for who is critical who are sme knowledge on this here they will provide sir okay understood sir daily yeah, yeah, yeah developer role is only for to do the development if you need any some more access you should reach out to admin admin will take care of that work on behalf of user just for change management for controlling right if everyone will have admin we don't know right who is doing changes by you know what that is the reason admin will have only one or two okay top level uh, uh, architects or you know uh, the senior guys will have admin access sir okay so uh, so the conclusion is with this knowledge we can able to work uh, yeah 
yeah. yeah you should be able to know here our our target is admin al- linux os admin also sir how the admin will do how the developer will do will teach both sir okay 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 any yeah. questions team please hope did you understand team what is their entire okay, devops you now did you get clarity team or any some questions team please ask me team yes sir clarity sir okay, everything yes sir yes sir yes sir okay right yeah yes sir okay team good we'll catch up team uh, you will get latest updates in our telegram those who are new right you can subscribe in our telegram team you will get it uh, updates like you know batch updates you will get it in our telegram please subscribe in this telegram team